got on a plane on his way to Philly. You know, that's the Eagle. The Rams are in here, and I can tell you that the Rams, they weren't going to do it on day one, but quarterback. So I wonder if Hayner might have been their guy if they're still thinking quarterback. They were thinking quarterback day three. I don't know who's on the board that you would consider Hall, or Hall. Bennett, McKee, but this might be the quarterback pitch for the Rams. Yeah, to me, Jaron Hall is the one is the next one for me, and that's the one who's got a lot of a, a buzz around. But you hear about DTR, backyard. you also hear about O'Connell. Yeah, see, backyard DTR is right there. And with the way things are going with this game, the movement ability, getting around, being able to create something and something's not there. DTR fits that bill. And I thought he took a big leap last year as an overall quarterback at UCLA. Well, I I, I, I don't think it's any coincidence that the Saints jumped in front of the Rams to make that selection. But the Rams just seemingly got off the phone with this very pick, and they were very pleased to have this announcement made here in Kansas City. With the 128th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Los Angeles Rams select Stetson Bennett, wow. quarterback, Georgia. Stetson Bennett is a Los Angeles Ram, and obviously he enjoyed his night in SoFi Stadium in the middle of January. What do you think about this choice by the Los Angeles Rams? Look at that. Stetson <laughs> Bennett, two-time national champion and all his swagger to Los Angeles. Hey, where did Matthew Stafford go to school? Great call. Got it. Yeah, I think they're mutual fans of one another. I think they know each other. Stetson Bennett, two national championships. Rich mentioned it. But to me, the tape is good. This is not something that where it's just, man, all this talent that they're they're blessed with at Georgia, and they just kind of went along for the ride. He made plays in big moments with his legs and with his arm. He's got a big-time burst as a runner. Ran a 4.67. And one thing about him, you can't argue, this, this dude loves the big stage. Every big moment, he rose to the occasion. Underrated athletic ability, and one of the comps people had for him, as we all know, was Blake Baker Mayfield. But how did Baker Mayfield play down the stretch for the Rams, clicking with Sean McVay, playing when the, when the season was lost, but playing awfully well? This kid plays like that, and guess what? Almost kind of a clone of Mayfield in terms of attitude and how he goes about getting things done, Peter. And he's throwing a baseball. Oh, yeah, my goodness. Fireball. I'll tell you something as far as the, uh, the Rams go here. One of the reasons they traded back last night was to acquire a fourth rounder with the idea of getting a quarterback. And... Stetson Bennett, they enjoy, they liked meeting with him, and he's going to be there. And you said Stafford, and you saw Mike LaFleur on the phone with him. You saw Zach Robinson in the room. That's your offensive coordinator, your quarterback's coach. It's a collective decision. It's no surprise that they got their guy in the fourth round. Well, uh, he could close for the Dodgers, too, apparently. <laughs> and, uh, they don't believe in closers, Rich. But you, you know, the, the, whole, the whole thing about this is so much of this story about Bennett being the walk-on, being the guy who went to junior college, the guy who came back much better athlete than he's ever gotten credit for and you don't win two national championships beat out a bunch of five stars and keep your job without having something on the ball Ian? Rich, while we all were talking about how late Stetson Bennett was going to go, sixth round, seventh round, general manager Les Snead was probably pretty happy. This was his favorite quarterback in this draft. This is the guy he has been on the entire time. You guys mentioned the mentality. As scouts like to say, he's got some stuff to him. You know, stuff to him. Pretty cocky. A lot of moxie. Tough dude. Rams are pretty happy right now. Yeah, it's a Georgia...